The Laron Automatic Overlap Welder is the workhorse of the industry when it comes to automated roofing welders. Weighing in at 100 pounds, the Laron provides the pressure needed to complete seam welds on single ply membrane from 45 to 80 mil thickness for any size job. The Laron requires a 240 volt power supply to operate. A voltmeter can be used to ensure the outlet is delivering proper voltage. If using a generator, the minimum size required is 10,000 watts. One Laron alone will demand 4,600 watts of power. It is required that only GFCI protected 10 gauge three wire line cord no longer than 100 feet be used. The Laron must have a plug wired to the power cable when first set up. It is extremely important to properly wire the plug to ensure full power operation and proper temperatures. When wiring the plug, make sure the yellow wire with the green stripe is properly attached to the ground terminal on the plug. This one is indicated by the green screw. Next, make sure the brown and blue wires are connected directly across from each other. This is especially important for four-prong plugs, as the Laron may not get full power if it is wired improperly. While working on the roof, items such as hard hats, gloves, safety glasses, and closed-toed shoes are often required. Check all local safety regulations to ensure proper attire is worn. The Laron Automatic Overlap Welder is one of the most user-friendly tools on the market. The controls for the Laron are located conveniently to the rear of the machine. To turn on the machine, turn the large red and yellow power knob to the on position to allow cool air to start circulating through the nozzle. The black airflow knob to the right of the power knob should be set to full power for TPO and PVC installation applications. The black knob above the power switch controls the speed of the welder indicated by the LCD display. There are three drive settings located next to the speed dial. The auto setting engages the drive only when the heat nozzle is in welding position. The hand setting engages the drive mechanism regardless of nozzle position, and the off position stops the drive mechanism regardless of nozzle position. The LED temperature display at the top of the control panel shows your temperature readings. The smaller green number on the right is the desired temperature, and the larger red number is the welder's current hot air temperature. To set the temperature, press the small up and down arrow buttons on the bottom of the LED display until the green number reaches the desired heat setting. To heat up the Laron, simply turn the black switch next to the LED display to the on position. The red number will climb until it reaches the desired temperature setting indicated by the green number. The Laron is designed to overshoot before cooling itself precisely on the desired temperature in about three minutes. It is important to make sure the temperature is constant before use. When ready to weld, align the Laron with the pressure wheel on the edge of the top layer of the membrane and the guide wheel to run against the outside edge of the overlap layer. This will allow the machine to move in a straight line along the seam. You always want to make sure your single ply material is clean and dry as wet membrane will not weld. To start the welding process, just slide the nozzle into the seam. When welding TPO, if you see a black line form along the welding edge, stop and either turn up the speed or turn down the heat until you get a weld that does not produce a black line. When welding PVC, you want to see a black bleed out along your welds. The only way to ensure proper temperature and speed is to run test welds in the morning before beginning and after lunchtime when the daily temperature is hotter. To test the weld, cut a sample crosswise over the weld about 10 inches long and 1 inch thick. Tear the top and bottom ends completely apart to reveal the scrim of the membrane. The scrim area should measure between 1 and 1.5 and inches in width to confirm a successful weld. Once proper heat and speed is established, just insert the nozzle into the overlap and continue the welding process. What is really nice about the Laron is that the machine can cool down without disturbing the settings. Just turn the heat switch to off to allow cool air to circulate through the nozzle. Once the temperature drops below 200 degrees, turn the red power knob to off, leaving all the settings intact. Always cool down a welder before turning it off. It will save the heating element and promote a safe work environment as a properly cooled down machine will not cause any dangerous burns to the crew. 
Once turned off, always store the welder with the nozzle down in the welding position for safety and protection from damage. It is important to follow each of these critical steps when operating the welder in order to maximize efficiency of your welds and to maintain safe operation procedures on the roof.